Learning Internet and welcome to day 26 of Once Upon a December. It is officially Boxing Day right now. Um, I don't know how many countries actually acknowledge Boxing Day. I know that the UK does because I think that's where we got it from. I'm pretty sure it's a UK thing. I don't mm. actually know whether there's many other countries that yeah. Boxing Day. Um, but today is, I mentioned yesterday it's going to be a busy day so <laughs> I apologize for my appearance. Um, we basically just woke up. We are out really early to try and beat the crowds. We're not actually here to do any Boxing Day shopping. It just so happens to time up that we did the paint swatches yesterday, um, just the paper swatches, and now we're going into Bunnings to get the rest of the paints. But we also might hit up um, a few more homeware shops, IKEA, JB, Harvey Norman, just to start looking at some of the stuff we're gonna need soon, such as like lights, um, some furniture we might need. Um, we definitely need to start thinking about furniture. It's just a little hard. I don't want to really commit to buying any furniture yet until like the majority of the renos downstairs is done, like the flooring is done, so we can get a view on what the color is like. But we do need to get this painting done before the renovators come back next year because that's when they're gonna put the floors down. Um, and it's just a little more risk, like less risk, less high risk to paint when the floors are basically just wood. So even if we spill, it's like not a big deal. So yeah, busy day. Trying to decide what roller to get. What she takes. See the interesting thing that things that I didn't know, all of these tapes have different levels of adhesion oh. that are based on the paint that you have on the walls. Because if you get something that's too strong, it'll pull the paint off. If you get something that's too weak, it won't stick properly. And so there's all these things that I'm like, I didn't know there was a thing. That thing's so Now we are getting some cleaning equipment because we need to actually clean up the walls and ceilings before we paint. And no trip to Bunnings would be complete without sausage sizzle. Yes, I'm so glad the Bunnings sausage sizzle, sausage sizzles are back. Now we made it to Ikea. All the things. And then no trip to Ikea is complete. Like without food. Yeah, except we're too early for the meatballs. Yeah. So we're just going to take breakfast instead. Yep. And the vegetable breakfast actually looked better than the meat one. Yeah, it actually did. The vegetarian mm. one just kind of looked nicer. So. so on the way home now, um, I didn't vlog a lot of IKEA. We didn't do that much besides just have Food. breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and then it was just trying to figure out if we could see any lighting we want. I'm looking for a very... I don't even really know what it is that I have in mind, but just something artistic, I guess. Um, but just nothing really caught our fancy. And we were actually also considering there's this Dyson air conditioning unit, air conditioning heating unit. Actually, I saw it because um, it was on Kim Tai's channel, uh, where she was talking about it, but it definitely isn't as strong as I thought it was. We tried it out and I'm like, actually quite weak. Yeah, and those max setting. Yeah, max I was setting not so good. Not as strong as I thought. Yeah, it's like so, a strong room fan. It doesn't really replace your aircon. Mm, so, because we are thinking that downstairs we may have to install actual air conditioning units because the air conditioning is only for upstairs and the Australian summers are brutal. At least for my version of brutal, I swear. If you say if you say like, oh, it's so cold and it's like two degrees someone's like well I, where i live it's four negative 40 degrees i'm like okay but i would be dead in that environment. I, I could not survive so oh, yeah I, I think well we don't have to complain about summer i think 45 degrees for two weeks straight in summer in australia that is pretty brutal. that's pretty bad so yeah but i mean in the worst case we just stay upstairs for now so it's not the biggest deal but something to think about well, our new cabin tree is not so new anymore thank you very much because one of the cats decided to mark it uh, at least it's broken in, I guess.
part of it and we painted this wall here um, just with some prepping yeah. kind of, like kind of like a base coat so that we can put our different paints on it hopefully today and tomorrow morning it should dry so then we can finally pick which one we think yeah, is I'm really the one keen to see what that looks like tomorrow yeah me too and I'm clearly helping moral support you're not helping <laughs> internet so it's the end of the day it is been a very long day don't know if i vlogged a lot of it but um it feels like a super long day what well, was starting early getting all the painting supplies i've never spent so much in bunnings before but we kind of justified spending on like good quality paint since since we weren't paying for anyone to actually do all the work we're doing all the work instead so we've still saved a lot of money so i'm really excited um i'll show you guys the four paint swatches tomorrow um one was a little unexpected the rest i'm not actually sure i think we may have to go for a fifth swatch to be honest so yeah it's really exciting um and then we spent like most of the evening cooking it's been a long day and tomorrow potentially could be another long day not quite sure yet so yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, well, shower, then bed. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Celine reporting from my room. Back to internet. こんばんは皆さん。これはフォーナーの日本語のレッスンです。えっと、今、こちらはジンベイさんです。ジンベイさんはジンベイエザメです。大きい動物ですね。うちに住んでいます。ジンベイさんは私の友達です。あなたの友達じゃありません。私のです。私。ジンビさんはジンベエザメです。わかりましたか？はい、終わりましょう。行きましょう。